Hi, my name is Camille Quick, and I'm participating in Challenge 2017. I will be speaking to you briefly about derivatives. So a derivative is basically a function that represents the slope of a line or curve or the line tangent to a line or curve. So in our x and y coordinate plane, let's say we have this curve and we're going to label that f of x. The derivative of this curve is going to look like this straight line and that's going to be labeled f prime of x, which is the derivative of f of x. Another way to write f prime of x is d over dx of f of x, which is basically the derivative, the derivative of f of x with respect to x. Now there are multiple rules. Um, in order to find the derivative algebraically, and we're going to go through them one by one. The first rule is the constant rule, which states that any the derivative of any constant or any number without a variable is equal to zero. So the derivative of 4 is going to be zero, the derivative of 32 is going to be zero. It doesn't really matter how large this constant is. As long as it's a constant, it's always going to be zero. Um, I can prove that to you in this coordinate plane, um, we have this straight line, uh, y equals 5, and we know because it's a horizontal 9, we know that the slope is always going to be 0. That correlates with this rule here, so that's also the proof. The power rule is basically um, the derivative of x raised to an exponent, or n, is going to be that exponent times x um, and raised to the exponent minus 1. So our first example is going to be x, the derivative of x cubed. Our, our n is going to be 3, and we're going to multiply that by the whole expression and subtract our 3 by 1. So we're ultimately going to get 3x cubed. I mean squared, sorry. Um, our next example is the derivative of 2x to the fourth. That's going to be, that's, our um, exponent is 4, and we're going to multiply that by the whole expression, 4 times 2x, sorry, that's x there, raised to the 4 minus 1 power, and that's going to be 8x cubed. The sum and difference rule is when you have two terms and they're separated by a plus or minus sign. Um, now our first term is going to be labeled f of x and our second term is going to be labeled g of x. So it's going to be the derivative of f of x plus or minus g of x is equal to f prime of x plus or minus g prime of x. So the derivative of f of x plus or minus the derivative of g of x. Our first example is 3x plus 4x uh, squared. Um, our first term is going to be, all right, when we're solving that it's going to be 1 because there's a 1 right here. Um, 1 times 3x raised to the 1 minus 1 power, that's going to be 3x to the 0, and simplify anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so that's just going to be 3. Our next term is going to be, um, to solve that, it's going to be 2 times 4x raised to the 2 minus 1 power, that's going to simplify down to 8x to the first power, which is 8x, and your answer is ultimately going to be 3 plus 8x. Now our constant multiple rule states that you can basically separate your constant and your um, x variable term to help you solve the problem. So our let's use this example, the derivative of 4x squared um, is going to be, so you're going to separate the 4 from the x squared and find this, deriv this derivative of this uh, term. So it's going to be um, 4 times 2x raised to the 2 minus 1, which simplifies ultimately down to 8x. The product rule is when you have two terms being multiplied by each other. So that's going to ultimately be the um, derivative of f of x times g of x is f prime of x times g of x plus g prime of x times f of x. Let's use this example. The derivative of 2x times 3x squared. So our first term is going to be f of x. We're going to label 2x f of x and we're going to label 3x squared g of x so we don't get confused. Now when we swap out the derivative, that's going to ultimately be 1 times 2x raised to the 1 minus 1 times 3x squared plus 2 times 3x two raised to the 2 minus 1 power times 2x. When we simplify, we get 2x to the 0 power times 3x squared plus 6x times 2x. Um, after we simplify everything um, and, and combine like terms, we're going to ultimately get 18x squared. Now the quotient rule is similar to the product rule except we're dividing the two terms and that's the derivative of f of x divided by g of x is ultimately going to be f prime of x times g of x minus g prime of x times f of x all over g of x squared. Uh, yeah, your denominator is squared. So let's use the same numbers from our previous example but in a um, division problem. So we're going to um, solve um, expand the derivative, uh, which is 1 times 2x 
raised to the 1 minus 1 power times 3x squared minus 2 times 3x raised to the 2 minus 1, sorry, that's a minus there, uh, times 2x all over our g of x or our denominator term, 3x squared, all of that squared. When we simplify, we get 2 times 3x squared minus 6x times 2x all over 9x to the fourth. After simplifying and, and combining like terms, we get... Um, this 6x squared minus 12x squared over 9x to the fourth and we can simplify the coefficient and the variables and we get negative 2 over 3x squared. Um, now our trig function rules, these um, are always going to be the same. The same. So the derivative of sine x is cosine x, the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, and the derivative of tangent x is secant x squared. We can use a little, to find these two, we can use a little unit circle, and we, uh, we start with our given function and we go over one clockwise to find the derivative. So the derivative of sine x would be cosine x, is correct right here, and the derivative of cosine x would be negative sine x, is correct right here. Um, we can't really use that to find tangent, but we can use the quotient rule to, to prove this is correct. So we convert uh, tangent x into sine x over cosine x is basically the same thing. We uh, use the quotient rule uh, to solve that out, and ultimately we get secant x squared by using other trig identities in the quotient rule to prove this problem. Now let's say we have you see this symbol um, f do little apostrophes of x. What the heck does that mean? Well, that's basically saying the second derivative or f double prime of x. So basically, it's finding the derivative again for the same function you just found. So let's use our example um, derivative of x to the fourth, and we're going to say our x to the fourth is our x of x. So we're going to write it out like this. So f prime of x, just the regular derivative, we're going to solve for that, which is, um, is going to be four times x raised to the four minus one power which is 4x cubed and when we find the second derivative we just find the derivative again and that's going to be 3 times 4x 3 raised to the 3 minus 1 power and that's going to be 12x squared let's keep going um, the third derivative of f of x is going to be 2 times 12x raised to the 2 minus 1 which is 24x to the first power or just 24x um, now you can keep going until you get to 0 and you'll always eventually almost always eventually get to 0 and you don't have to keep writing out the little apostrophe points after three you just write out the number and that'll mean the same it'll denote that you're trying to find that number derivative so um, that's basically what this means you just have to keep finding the derivative of the same function over and over again until you get to that number so that was the end of the video um, I hope you know how to do the basis of derivatives now